I can happily make a few calls, speak to a few people. In exchange, I'd like to ask that you hear me out on a proposition. Who is this? It's not a thing I really do, this ransoming of aid. But these are unusual circumstances, and Colorado Springs' future hangs in the metaphorical balance. I wouldn't be asking for such an exchange if I wasn't desperate. I'll be at the church in Broadmoor Heights. Huh. I'll tell the marshals to let you through. Come find me here. Broadmoor Heights. That's random. Dr. Gideon Reyes, head of the 100 families, has offered his services as an advisor if we help him with a problem that he says affects the future of Colorado Springs. Meet him at the church in Broadmoor Heights. If the marshals try to stop us at the gate, we should tell them he's expecting us. Okay, so that's that gate out to that left side, I believe. I was actually just thinking about if there's anything else we want to kind of clear in this area. So that's really good timing. Back into Little Vegas. Oh, this is like... Oh, I'm just getting kind of addicted here. <laughs> I'm really enjoying this. A eunuch named Ken Doll runs the brothel. Oh, we've we've met we've met Mr. Mr. Doll. We should maybe um before we leave here too, just touch base place. with Brago one more time. Best, but I've heard our oh, Charlie's back. Away on a, you stowed away on an Arapaho convoy? Oh my god. Tell me. Hello again, red hats. Nothing. Okay, weird. Until next so that was just him like time, leaving hats. for a bit. I thought uh, we might actually see him in there, but. What is that thing that just popped off? And for some reason back here, we can't see what the requirements are until we try it. Uh, Tommy gun. Oh, confetti grenades. M19 auto pistol. Damage and Hydra skin panels for leg armor. Extra armor and evasion. See here. Uh, this could probably benefit. Easy peasy. And then uh, small arms over here. So we're going to stick with the army revolver. And maybe just for some extra options, we go with something like... Where's the shotgun? 20 to 29. Base hit chance 95. Ammo capacity of two versus four. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, we should also check here. So, weird science guns. Just want to see if we've crossed any uh, thresholds. Argon Lance's big guns. Here's weird science. Oh, this is the brain destabilizer. Yes, actually. Let's try that. We have a uh, fuser. This does. Oh, yeah, this does the repair. Okay, so if we have like robotic enemies and stuff, I want to give that to somebody else. Okay. So let's go out the left side now. Everybody, come on. They didn't like us going through that stuff, so I'm not going to attempt it again. We'll talk to Brago fast, fast. <clears throat> Oh, 
Welcome back to my establishment, Rangers. You're always welcome here. Better be. All right. Good cool. luck. <laughs> you Rangers are stand up guys. Anytime. Oh, man. I love dancing in this place. It's the best. But I've heard a rumor that there's an exclusive secret dance party up at half. So. I imagine there's ways in which we might be able to claw our way out of the dislike from uh, Sheriff and her group. But I'm also, if, if not presented with those opportunities, I'm okay going down the dark side. Something different with Brigo. And I think this group on the left, we had actually approached them before at one point. If it's the same uh, exit that I'm envisioning. That's out to the garden. Let's do some quick sales here. Welcome back, children. Had another rough night? Remedies for regret, children. Headache. Here you go, children. Sorry, okay. Salvation is at hand. Old security drone. It's let's uh. Up, so it, uh real fast. Right. Let's sell this. We can Welcome learn her story, back, I guess. Children had another. Just a simple humanitarian who saw a niche that needed filling. Now, are you buying or are you talking? Went real deep there. You'll be back. Hmm. Have we not? Oh, I don't think we've been out here. Holy smokes! There's a whole other area. And walking home. Melt the capacitors. Are you okay? Who are these cotters? Jimmy Cotter, Tommy Cotter, Mama Cotter, Bobby Cotter. Got nothing to say to you. Talk to our mom. Grizzled and gnarled as an old oak tree, the round little woman scowls at you from under her scarf, eyes invisible, and a face has more wrinkles you than skin. You got business with Mama Cotter? Uh, do we? Ha! <laughs> no, you don't. Come back <laughs> when you do. Until then, scram. Okay. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. Oh, a grease monkey. Oh, hello. Maybe. Just maybe. You need help? Oh, talk to Jimmy Longhall. You want to set your tire beam real quick? And look yeah, here we go. Killing? This is probably where we can I recruit a guy. You. Set the tire on fire. Oh, and a doctor. Ooh. Yeah, well, I'm glad we found this place. Anyway, just a quick shot of flammable agent, a method for putting out the fire, and you're ready to keep going. Jimmy Longhall. Even in his old age, this man is impressive, broad-shouldered and thick-necked. He wears his hair in thick white braids. Hey, Jimmy. Glad to see you're okay. Dorsey's didn't get this far? Nah, they didn't bother with us. They were after folks wearing badges like yours. I would have shot those Dorseys dead if they'd walked in my garage. Haven't seen your friends before. If you folks are looking for help with your vehicle, you've come to the right place. That right, Jimmy. What is this place? This is the Colorado Springs Arapaho Station. We got stations all over Colorado, mostly for fixing and supplying our own fleet. But we fix vehicles and sell parts to anybody. I'm the manager, Jimmy Longhall. That's my crew over there. You need any repairs or alterations to your ride, they're the ones who will put it all together. Best crew in the business. Looks like you also repair, uh, people? Yeah. Oh, that's Doc Parker. He needed a place to set up his clinic, and we had the space, so... Good thing, too. Those Dorseys hurt a lot of people with that little raid of theirs. We brought as many as we could in here, and Doc's been patching them up as fast as he can. Only got two hands, though. I feel ya. Is he a good doctor? The best in Colorado Springs, no lie. He was the Patriarch's personal physician for a while. 
took care of all the hoity toits in Broadmoor Heights, too. Kind of pissed us off at the time, actually. Nice Arapaho boy taking care of the hemorrhoids of the hundred families and turning his back on his own people. Came home in the end, though. Remembered who he was and set up his clinic here. Been serving the working people of Colorado Springs ever since. Okay, there's potential there. Tell us about your employees. Co-workers, not employees. I only give the orders because I take the orders, get me? I gotcha. Anyway, Fastback's the old one. Been with the station almost as long as I have. Ranch, the tall fella, thinks he's a heartbreaker, but he's the most sentimental sap you'll ever meet. And Pacer is our newest recruit. Don't mess with her. She's 10 pounds of attitude in a five pound <laughs> bag. Hey, so you're all Arapaho here. At the moment? Yeah, I guess so. Driving and wrenching has kind of become the Arapaho brand. We pride ourselves on being the best mechanics and couriers in the West. Can you tell us about the Arapaho? Well, except for those of us who run the stations, we mostly live on the road. The people of the convoy, some folks call us. And we've turned that way of life into a business. Arapaho service stations, Iron Thunder logistics, Arapaho caravan protection, and so on. While other folks were eating each other in the suburbs or fighting over mansions in Broadmoor Heights, we kept to the wildlands and didn't come back until civilization had reestablished itself. And when we came back, we came with services people needed. Transportation, protection, and repair. Been living well ever since. Yeah, I bet. Do you guys hire outsiders? Sure we do, if they're good enough. Takes a lot of skills to be better than an Arapaho, though. I believe it. Uh, what do you sell? Anything for your vehicle. Have a look. Cool. So, he's got a toolkit uh, that gives mechanics plus one. Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to it. I think that's a worthy investment. Because Trucker horn. 10-4, good buddy. What's your 20? When it gave up the a rhino he cannon. He fires could. rockets. And a quick repair kit. Okay. I'm going to buy these. The I'll buy the horn, that's sure. I'll buy the cannon, also sure. Get out of the planes. And, uh... How many of these do we have? We have two. Let's buy them all. We get a discount. See? Save your money, kids. And you can waste it all on this kind of stuff. It's really excellent. Okay. So, if we... We want to give this to somebody. Mechanics plus one. That's in here. He's currently got the experience badge. Let's do this instead. And give the experience badge to somebody else. This is giving hard ass. This is critical chance. Here you go. Take that. Okay, excellent. No time. And these guys have this one has names. Whoa. Yeah, he is badly Come bleeding. On, Pull through. Sorry. Linebacker in a lab coat. The doctor is clearly weary, but works feverishly to bandage the bloody head of an unconscious young hey, woman. Doc. Quan, hope you won't take offense, but I've got no time for niceties. Dying people take precedence. Understood, brother. Hey, can we do anything to help? They're I got first shape, aid level two, brother. I don't have the time or tools to save them. Oh, nice. Uh, well, I mean, this isn't exactly ranger work. We would need some compensation, of course. You have the ability to save lives, and you want to get tipped for it? Assholes. Ah, oh, he is right. Fine. Save them, and I'll pay you. But don't expect us to be pals after. Find and return the supplies. Thank you. The things I need most are a suture kit, an injury kit, and a medic pack. Got you got that? this. These folks are literally dying on us, so don't fuck around. Yeah, we've already got it. Great. Then get started on those patients. 
on it. Sick. He nods, allowing himself a quiet sigh of relief, then returns his attention to the injured woman. Car's a lot like an old dog sometimes. It won't. Man is sitting clenched teeth in a puddle of his own blood, a hand pressed to his belly, intestines bulge from between the slats of his fingers. It won't last much longer without help. If you use one of your suture kits, you may be able to save his life. Bad, is it? Just well, that's debatable, buddy. Am I right? And if you lose, you should see. We'll have to make lunch every day. Another guy. Let's uh, suture. Oh. Also, a mega crit. Close. Why my not? Wound. I won't miss staring at my own gods. I won't miss it either, brother. Make sure you take care of my bike when you get to it. Let's round him up Thanks. and bring him back to Doc Parker. Would have bled to death because without this you. This was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it get nearly unconscious, her body's a nightmare of bruises and welts, but at least she's breathing. Damage is severe, but treatable with basic tools. You can use one of your medic packs to save her life. I wouldn't stop. Why wouldn't they stop? Take it. It hurts. Like where? What's going on? Did you patch me up? Man doesn't appear to be in much pain, but he's intensely focused on his leg. White bone shears through the skin. He's clearly broken it in several places. Uh, this may end poorly for him. You could use one of your injury kits Jumped to save his life. Building Make sure you take care of that bike when you get to Didn't it. Didn't count on the ground stopping me. Because this was Jimmy Longhall's first car. When it gave up the ghost in the plains, he salvaged what he could and turned it into this monster you, you see before you. Uh, All because hurts he like a bitch. bear to be separated from Maybe his machine. Actually walk again. That's dedication. Maybe. Also to get out of the plains. What now? Well, uh, we've done everything we can for the patients. I think they're all going to pull through. Good. Here's your pay. Ooh. Can't believe I'm going to ask you vultures, but... You see this girl? She was shot in the head, but there's no exit wound. The bullet's still in there. I need to keep constant watch on her, and I need cleaner, safer facilities to do it. Maybe our facilities. If you let me use the facilities at your HQ, I'll... I'll do anything. I'll work as your doctor. I'll fucking juggle for you, Rangers. <laughs> I just need to save her. What do you say? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. You've saved her life. And mine. Need anything before I get my stuff together? Mm, I don't think we need any medical attention. We're good. See you at the base then. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Okay, let's check the um I hope you got another career plan. I give it another three months before Pesa leaves you in the dust. And so what if she does? Where are the just where would this fall under? Ain't no shame in that. I'm gonna remind I guess you just in general. He gave us a stethoscope. Didn't he? Yeah, here. First aid plus one. Ooh. We get rid of hard ass for first aid. Should I call him? Call who? Oh, I think just so. This woman he's been in love with forever now. They met in the bazaar. I don't know if anybody else trouble. has hard ass. But now he's too scared to do He's got kiss ass. Whoa. Hey. Oh, you know what? She might. No, she doesn't. Okay. But he's the only one with uh first aid. So Yeah. I think we still hold those skill points. What about you? You got any stories for us? I've got them. We'll put it here. Put it on uh, Costello. Uh, wait. We'll just put it on empty slot since it's just gonna benefit somebody anyway. Not interested in how my parents made themselves a sled team of robots. Ah, come on! Don't be like that. Just double checking our armor here. Five, five, seven, seven, ten. Four. I think we're clear. Okay, excellent. Now, let's confirm because we have a bunch of people that we need. Brig Jailer. Fully functioning armory. Brig. The doctor. 
And now we need garage mechanics. So I'm hoping we can get these guys. to be separated from his machine. That's dedication for you. Also to get out I'm going to talk to Jimmy again. What can I do for you? Hmm. You take care now. Nothing there. What about these guys? Oh, this baby's going to look so beautiful on the road. I'm wondering if it was it was probably the other dude. There we go. That we Aren't you a sight? threw under the bus. Roll them. Smaller problem than they thought. Sure want to travel to Colorado. Not quite yet. So, interesting, because there's this family here. We're not sure how they operate or what they're operating for. Maybe there's a connection to going out that other section of this area that we were talking about. We'll have to see. This is marked as like a point of interest, but I guess it would be kind of surprising to get both people. Who's this guy? Ah, hello there. The name's Theodoric Curie. Theo for friends. I need to work on these gate hydraulics, but I always have time to answer some questions. If you're here to learn about our wall. Well, I wasn't, but now I am. So, Theodore Curie, who are you exactly? I am the humble son of scientists. My mother and father were on a mission to pursue the possibility of cold fusion. Imagine nuclear reactions at room temperatures making it safe for everyone. Sadly, they are gone, and my efforts to follow their work has been stymied by immediate dangers. Perhaps one day... I'll have the time to devote to such a monumental achievement again. Immediate dangers, you say? Tell us about the wall. It's simply your standard concrete barrier with Tesla-styled electrical deterrence. Not an absolute marvel of what could be done, but sufficient for the task of keeping out enemies. If we had oil to power the generators, you'd see the glorious effect of thousands of volts of electricity arcing across it, deterring would-be attackers from approaching. Such a pity. <laughs> Needs oil. Okay. Believe me, I understand. Thank you for stopping by, and good luck out there. <sighs> Back to the wall. Interesting. He didn't actually ask us for anything. Oh, you want to talk to Mama? She's and Mama is, we don't know. Okay, let's carry on. We have our stuff to take care of. Traveling busker. Howdy. Oh, we'll listen. When the world expired, we were forged in the fire. A shield made of muscle and grit. Protecting the needy and fighting the greedy. We fought because we gave a shit. <laughs> and we'll keep on a fighting. He's good. Oh, you're gonna... What a cliffhanger of a song. And our victories... Oh, he's carrying on. By Cause despite all the dangers... The old desert rangers... Well, the world knows the rangers persevere. Legendary. It started in Vegas when Brigo did Vegas. <laughs> cool. To save him from killer machines. The trail led us then to the Guardian's Den, where nightmares were made from old dreams. In Darwin disaster, the old mutant master, Erwin John Finster, Esquire. Where we fought our way through his mind and his zoo Until Erwin John Finster expired And finally Cochise, that old devil Cochise Told us that man's time was done But though he tried to destroy us We were somehow victorious And we blew him to sweet kingdom come <laughs> And we'll keep on a fight Fightin'. Or there's wrongs to be righted, and our victories grow year by year. 
I wish there was like instrument sound. I guess he doesn't have one, so. The old desert rangers. Well, the world knows that we persevere. I'm impressed, Mr. Busker. It started again with a voice on the wind, a plague of synthetic men. Lurked in the shadows and guided our worst foes with schemes to hasten our end. The clues led away to LACA in a cult of post human peace. It was only a ruse, their brains stolen for use in an army of synths for coaches. Our old foe returned, well, he had to be burned, so we raced back to Ranger HQ, where our brightest and best were put to the mm -hmm. test, and died so Kochi's mm -hmm. might die too, mm -hmm. and we'll keep mm -hmm. on a fighting, mm -hmm. for there's mm -hmm. wrongs to be writing. writing. And our victories mm -hmm. grow by year cause despite all the dangers mm -hmm. the old desert, desert rangers, rangers well the world mm -hmm. knows that we persevere mm -hmm. that's a sick yes, man that's the so good abide. we fight side by side Darkness and chaos and fear from the dawn of year zero. The world's needed heroes. So the rangers must still persevere. Dude, that was super cool. Nice yeah. little history there. That's really cool. Okay, we've been back there. Let's go find that exit. Maybe I'll join the marshals. If you do like roughing people up. You get drummed out in a second, you crack. Kodiak, it's sure this one down here. Help. Yeah, this is where we want to be at. My own blackjack. Oh, does this actually... Oh, it marks for us. That's cool. No, this doesn't. It's not. It's not where we want to be. I guess, oh, cool. Okay, so it kind of shows us on the map a little bit. Yeah, nice. Oh, it does mark it. That's cool. First time using that. Oh, Shoot out in Little Vegas. Off-duty marshal slay. By order of the Patriarch. Only authorized personnel are to pass this gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My uncle, Gideon Reyes, wants to speak to the Rangers. Oh, of course, Miss Wesson. Open it up, fellas. Thank you, Pitts. See what trouble lies behind door number four. Wait, what's this? Lock picking. <laughs> no one's allowed in there. <sighs> Are you for real, dude? What's in there? Which word didn't you understand? Please step away. Oh. Huh. If I just take him solo. I want to get in there. Look, this is running. What is this doing? Oh, I bet you this is controlling access to this gate. Okay, let's not let's not get into too much trouble here. Let's continue. Rod more heights. Let's rock and roll, baby. So it seems like before we leave this area, we want to at least try to find some mechanics. Uh, if we mess it up with the first guy. There are definitely mechanics in that shop that maybe we can get into our place, but I have no idea. They don't seem to have any desire in talking to us. There's no quests for them. We talked to the main guy and 
He sold us some stuff, but... Cool. more residents. The head of the hundred families offered his services. He's the guy who contacted us on the radio. Welcome to the right side of the tracks. You sure about that? Windows are thick and double pane. No expense was spared. Oh, yeah. We got rich people. Door back here. Do you have permission to be here? Well, I think so. What is this? This is leading outside. What is that? I don't know what that's connected to exactly. I also don't know if we should just be start flinging switches here, but I'm curious. Oh, I couldn't tell you what that's doing. I wish they'd get a younger preacher to come and give sermons. You just want eye candy. Guilty. Priest of the Final Deluge. Great. Sleeky mus sleekly muscular, more raptor than foul. The cybernetically enhanced chicken cuts an unusually menacing figure. Paces and prowls clearly displeased at your presence. Need level four. You don't scare us, chicken. <laughs> Feathered Jaguar. Okay. gonna tell on me nice look at this kiss ass by one okay we definitely want to save that alloy barrel molotovs hydra skin panels okay let's try and modify that won't work what's the hydra skin panel for then oh leg armor yeah, we've already got it there. So let's go to our other tank. It's only level three. Do we have better armor? No, not currently. Okay. Damage plus two. Sure. Oh, there's Gideon. The waters pass over here. Sure. What's this? Down in front. Gospel of Nicholas lore book, an excerpt from the scripture of the Holy Deluge. Oh yeah, we picked up that other lore book too, didn't we? And so did their holy prophet Nicholas commemorate and consecrate the remembrance of the final deluge by leading the congregation in their ceremonial denial of old world consumer goods. Has not the final deluge, that great rain of cleansing fire, given our children a new beginning by washing away all the false trapping of the old world, he asked his flock. Yes, they answered in a sing as a single choir, holding aloft those relics that had become the false idols of so many coffee pots and compact discs and gossip magazines. Nicholas cast them one by one into the cleansing fire of a microwave, which was called upon to replace the traditional ceremonial flames. Okay. Loyal supplicants of the final deluge exalted as they denied the obsolete artifacts that had so deeply contributed to the ruination of humankind before their prophet set each one ablaze. And then did Nicholas conclude the ceremony by promising the inevitable cleansing of the microwave as well, for it was a chief perpetrator of complacence and false idolatry before the gift of the all-consuming holy fire. And the followers of the final deluge did rejoice. <laughs> Love it. And here's the other one. Clown's Guide to Paint. Makeup and acid. Chapter five, making clown paint. So kids, you've got your clown outfit, your clown horn and clown nose already. Great. Now it's time to make your very own clown makeup. Wow, that's great. That's right. 
you're making your paints yourself. In the next chapter, we'll discuss how you use them to paint your face. Note, do not attempt without supervision of your parent or legal guardian. Clowns Inc. cannot be held responsible for any paint-related accidents. There are four basic colors we'll want to make. A bright light blue, a blue beautiful indigo, a beautiful crimson, a lure red, and a subtle light green to finish things off. Please refer to the mixes below. Light blue, indigo, red, light green, different amounts of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sodium, oxygen, and sulfide. Yeah, that's, that's intense. Okay, we're all caught up. Guaranteed 100% waterproof and bloodstain resistant Colorado Springs weatherproofing. <laughs> the Dorseys twist our faith to justify their evil. Man looks like he might have been drawn by a mathematician, precisely cut luxury and manicured good uh, looks. Ah, you're the Rangers, yes? I'm most pleased to see you. I'm Gideon Reyes. Uncle Gideon, you heard about my family? I did, Sobrina, and I'm so sorry. You know you always have a place in my house for as long as you need. I know, and I am grateful, but I have a place with these rangers now. We mean to see justice done for my family. Is that so, rangers? Yeah, that's right. Your niece is a deputized ranger now. She was always an impressive girl. My sister would be proud of her. Now, I expect you're here about my call. Correct. There is a situation in Colorado Springs that requires a delicate touch. But first, you need to know the truth about this city. Colorado Springs isn't as prosperous as it pretends. We can barely feed our existing population. And now, smugglers are bringing refugees into the city every day. If we had enough food to support them, we would welcome them. But we don't. Okay. I've asked the Patriarch to chase off these smugglers, but he says the crisis with the Dorseys and his children have left the marshals spread too thin. It seems he'd rather just have Sheriff Daisy keep putting refugees in the pillories rather than stopping the tide at its source. It's infuriating. And that is why I've called you. Where are the refugees coming from? The plains, mostly. After the Patriarch defeated the Eastern gangs, people started settling out there, thinking it was safe. Now the gangs have returned, and all the homesteaders are fleeing back to Colorado Springs. The Patriarch doesn't care about the smugglers. We'd be doing this in our own time. You gonna pay? Oh, of course. And not just in money. I do a lot of business with there the local go. Arapaho Garage, and I can get them to provide you with mechanics to service your vehicle. They always have the best, and I'll pay for everything. Sick. I don't even care about the money. Honestly, I don't even care about the mechanics. Kind of do. But the monocle, I need to know what that's about. It's got to be like a perception thing. Yeah, we're definitely going to look into Thank this. Thank you. I'm told the smugglers are operating out of the bazaar, a trader's market east of Colorado Springs. When you find them, well, do what you can. Convince them to take the refugees elsewhere. Convince them to stop entirely. Arrest them. I just want this problem to go away. Yeah, okay. We Thank can probably you do that. for agreeing to help. You are doing Colorado Springs a great service. Goodbye and cool. good luck. Okay, so that's the answer that we were kind of searching for. Middle-aged woman murmurs quietly to herself, her hands clasped in prayer. When she notices you standing nearby, she looks up and you see tears streaming down her cheeks. Oh, thank God. You're the Westerners, aren't you? The Rangers? Yeah, that's us. What's going on? My husband, my hearty, was in Aspen when Vic Buchanan raided the town. Vic took him hostage, but there's been no word for weeks. I uh -oh. know it's frightful, wicked to hope for the safety of one soul over many, but I beg you, find him, save him if you can. So that's, pr I'm guessing this is something to be done quite a bit later when we go and try and deal with, uh, what is it, victory? No need to beg, Mrs. Knox. We have business of our own with Vic Buchanan. Yeah. If your husband's alive, we'll find him. She flinches, raising her head again and risks a smile. I didn't smile. see you there, Lucia. 
You're a good girl. Always have been. I'm dreadful sorry for your loss. Lucia nods at the words but quickly looks away. We have money, Rangers. Even though we don't live fancy like some families do, if you bring my hearty home safe, we'll donate all we can to your cause. Yeah, I'm good with that. Can you describe uh, what he looks like? He's a little on the portly side. Always well-dressed. But he likes playing cowboy out on the ranch. <laughs> Kindest man in the hundred families. That's why I married him. Okay, so chubby cowboy. So you're from the hundred families then? Yes, but we're homebodies. And neither of us is very political. We own bison ranches out east. Supply Colorado Springs with half its meat. We found this old journal in our headquarters. It mentions the Knox family. Any interest in it? Let me see who... Uh, Allie Blue. Yeah, yeah, cool. Allie Blue? Aunt Allie? My goodness, of course. I'd love to read this. Oh, that's so sick. So these lore books are also slightly more important than that. Blue is my maiden name. Back in the old days, the Blues and the Knoxes hated each other. Old Aunt Ellie almost shot me when I told her I was going to marry Hardy. Always wanted to know what things were like when she was young. Oh, thank you, Rangers. Let me give you something for this. Oh, okay. Uh, do you know anything about the cybernetic chicken in the church closet? You mean he's real? <laughs> I've seen him poking around the church at night, but I wasn't sure if my mind was playing tricks on me didn't dare get too close. I left him some food, just in case. Corn and scrap metal. He seemed like scrap such a food. good, strong chicken. Oh yeah, he definitely is. Well, uh, we'll do what we can, Mrs. Knox. I know you will. Thank you, Rangers. Okay, so let's check, take a look at this. Uh, Frontier Justice, yeah, so... Oh no, this is not it. This is not it. Uh, finding the husband. I thought that like added to this. Oh, here. Okay, so we've got like an addendum. Asked us to look for her husband, Hardy, who may be hostage in Aspen. The Noxes are part of the hundred families and seem wealthy. If we save Hardy, she talked to Miriam about the reward. We'll have to eventually come back here. All right. Excellent. Let's go and check out the sermon. We know not this is a place of respite. Oh, good. Okay, well... See you later, then. See you later. Oh, I wish I knew what this did. Let's put, uh, let's put Costello out here. What is it connecting to? Very strange. I have no idea. You can kind of see some of the wires there, but... Okay. Let's check out the rest of this area. See if we can find anybody important. This is uh, Wesson, Servitor Bot. I'd know this drone anywhere. Yep. It was my father's favorite. Must have been damaged when the Dorseys raided our house. Drone is clearly malfunctioning, vibrating against the cobblestones as the speakers emit a faint, continuous squeal. You're not squeal. supposed to touch that. It belonged to the Wessons. I've got orders to keep everyone away. Speak up, Lucia. Holy crap. Okay, so we it's kiss ass, but also whether we're liked or disliked. Oh, sick. That's so cool. Um, why can't we take a closer look? Ongoing investigation or, or something. How should I know? Now, please step back. Okay. Lucia, you're a Wesson. Doesn't that make you the, the drone your property? That's right. I recognize that drone. It ran little errands for my father and alphabetized his books. So maybe Lucia here should have a talk with Sheriff Daisy. Wait, what? No, that won't be necessary, please. I'm I love already it. on Daisy's shit list. Go ahead and do whatever you need to do. 
Yeah, you remember that. As far as you can tell, the drone's stuck in some sort of loop. The chassis banged up, so the damage may have led to an internal fault. Nerd stuff. If the robot's operating system crashed, it might initiate a reboot sequence. It might be possible to rewire the servitor bot without shutting it off. That would allow you to force a system restart. In theory... Oh, there we go. Hard crash the drone's brain so it reboots. Hotwire the drone and force a full system restart. I don't want to crash the brain. Let's do this. I don't know if that matters, but... Smell burning plastic. After a moment, some internal fans kick in and the scent fades. Hey, oh, locate hidden treasure. Go. Hello. Follow the servitor bot. So they killed the Wessons, the Shurers, the Jacksons, Sophia Gutierrez too, and her kids. The Patriarch said the Dorseys were dead. He was either lying or incompetent. Which is it? A lot of hmm. people have been asking the same thing. My family will be avenged. Yes, they will. Don't you worry. We're working on it. I'm guessing it's back in here. X. <laughs> cool. Oh, it's weird that, like, shoots us over there. Camera angle. That's awesome. How do we actually get this, though? What? Object complete. Current location. Located treasure. 